On this video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of brainstorming and the technique I use on my graphic design projects. Hello, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer. And this channel is all about creativity and the design process. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing if you like the topics and the content of these videos and I'll be forever grateful. Brainstorming is a creative process that helps generating ideas and coming up with solutions for problems. There are many different ways to do a brainstorm. So there are things like uh, word storms, visual associations, what if techniques, and it can be done in group or individually. I believe brainstorming is important because it improves creative thinking and you can actually get better at generating ideas when you are practicing this on every one of your projects. Also, from my point of view, I can't really start designing something if I haven't laid out all my ideas on a paper. I use a technique called mind mapping, which is actually a way to organize all the data and information visually instead of on lists or outlines. The structure of mind map radiates from the center with lines that connect every other word to the main topic, and it is almost like a real map where all the streets converge on the city center. As mindmapping.com puts it, Mind mapping converts a long list of monotonous information into a colorful, memorable and highly organized diagram that works in line with your brain's natural way of doing things. So now I'm going to show you how I started with the topic of my design project in the center of the page, a uh, poster for a cryptocurrency exchange. And then I started creating sections, one for the problem, another one for the target audience, the style, references, uh, the word cryptocurrency and the use that the poster will have. At this point, I just write down everything that comes to mind without any type of filter because all I want is to put all the information and all the ideas that I might have onto the paper before I can actually check all of them and see if there is anything in there that I can use. This took me about 15 minutes to make, so it's about half the time that I actually had allocated for this task. After this, I have spent about 40 minutes researching what cryptocurrency exchanges are and looking for the most popular ones online. Since I have to design a poster, I will be choosing one of the companies that already exists, so I don't have to worry about the logo, the colors, the typography, and I'll take what they already have. At this point, I am still not sure if I want to create a promotional poster or an informational one, and I guess that depends on the use or placement I'm gonna give to it. But for now, this is all the brainstorming I'm gonna do. My next step is to write down a list of things that I want the poster to include, and also to sketch some layout ideas, but that will be for my next video. I hope you like this video, and if you have any questions, please just write them on the comment section and I'll be happy to help. And I have a question for you. What brainstorm technique do you use and why does it work for you? If you don't use any yet, I highly recommend that you start because it's really going to help you improve your creative thinking and also I think it's going to improve your design process. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!